Sylvia. Uh oh. What's the matter? You don't like the name Sylvia? It might cause problems. Oh? Give a dog a woman's name, you, you, you begin to think of her as a woman. Oh, yeah. It should be dangerous. Just buy a go for dog names such as Bob, Pano, Bowser, Sylvia. That's the trouble. Oh, come on now. Maybe I'm disassociating. I don't know how to grow names.
she works very hard. She doesn't like me. No, she, she, she will. She will. She makes me nervous. I sense the clock ticking away. She just likes to take her time about things. Hey, it, it took her two years to, to say that she married me. Two years? Okay, if you multiply that by seven, that's... Fourteen years dog time. That is too long, Greg. Well, she is, she is worth it, Sylvia. I promise. But isn't there something I can do to speed things up? I'm tired of being just a house guest around here. I want to feel totally at home. Oh, she'll come around, Sylvia. She's a little career-oriented at the moment. It's a phase we're going through nowadays. Okay, let's see what we can do and get some shower, huh? Okay.
Sylvia surprised me.
And then, when she's done, she comes and sits by the table, slobbering and eyeing us all through the meal. You see, dogs are like children. They need to be excelled when we eat. <laughs>
Speak till you speak. Okay, I'm, I'm sure I know this one. Speak till me. If you speak, I'll give you a treat. It's coming back to me. Speak, <gasps> Sylvia. Speak, Sylvia. Hey! Good girl. Hey! Good girl. Hey! 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 Speak. Uh, hey! We're done. Hey! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> uh, see what we can achieve, buddy. Yeah. 
Sylvia? I don't want to lie down. I said lie down, oh. Sylvia. Oh, oh, that hurts. Oh. Oh. You're supposed to lie down. So, Greg, darling, I have some wonderful news. Sit! Sit. Okay. What? I, I meant... <laughs> why, why don't we sit down, okay? Greg, I am not I know, Sylvia. I know, I know. I just got a little confused, is all. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> It's a genetic thing. I got this gene. Oh, you have a gene? Well, I have a gene too, Greg. It's a gene that reminds me I'm responsible for the welfare of my offspring. It is a gene that tells me I made a major commitment to my mate. And it is a gene that makes me want to do something productive with the welfare of the world at large. Maybe we should just sleep on this one. Maybe we should. Are you coming? Later. 
she was already named, so be my founder. But you embraced the name because you needed a woman. But I already have a woman. Her name is Kate. But you want another kind of woman, Greg. You wanted that subservient little housewife you once kept in the suburbs, that worshipful daughter that was clung on to your every word. You wanted Sylvia, Greg. If Sylvia hadn't come to you, you would have had to invent her. Well, you may be right, Leslie. I think I am, Greg. Now, this is what we therapists call the dangerous years. Dangerous years? The years between the first sign of retirement for the fifth and nursing home. Oh, God! No, no, we should make the most of these years. I, for example, am searching the boundaries of gender identification. Kate is moving beyond the life of child rearing to a type of life in public classroom. You, on the other hand, seem to be stuck in some type of pastoral nostalgia. Pastoral nostalgia? By acquiring Sylvia. Do you think that's true? I think it is, Greg, and I think it's time for you to drop the leash and accept the challenges that come with later life. Maybe so. You need to see if you can walk side by side toward the setting sun with your wife. Thank you, Leslie. That makes a lot. Aren't you forgetting one thing? What thing, Greg? Well, you, you've seen Kate. You've seen me. Don't you think you should see Sylvia next? You, you want me to hold a therapy session with your dog? No, not a session, Leslie. Jesus, what kind of nutcase do you think I am? No, no, no. I'm thinking I bring her in, you can pat her, maybe talk to her, maybe take her for a little walk, because then you'll see, Leslie, you'll see. See what? You'll see that she's just, she's not some... G or some name or some psychological symptom or anything else you've got to pin down on her. Any dog I've ever knows this. We should all have the right to a dog. It should be in the Constitution, for God's sake. Right. Well, what was it? What is it? I would like you to come with me now, okay? And some you can on your way out. Well, it's, uh, for somebody's dinner anyway. Nice to meet you, Leslie. Yeah. Very nice to meet you. I do. 
very much. I thought you loved me. Uh, I do, sweetheart. But in a different way. It's not a good way as far as Kate is concerned. I thought there was talk of you and me moving out. Well, there was. I thought there was serious talk of you and me getting a studio apartment over on 69th Street. Right near the park. Yeah, I there guess there was some talk of that, Sylvia, but in the heat of the moment. I, I thought we were going to take a camping trip to Chesapeake Bay, and you were going to teach me to retrieve ducks. I know, Sylvia, I know. We're going to do all that, I promise. And, and now you've suddenly chickened out? That's exactly it. I've chickened out. I feel awful. So do I. You know what I wish I could do right now? Mix myself a double out of smooth vodka on the rocks with a twist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Sylvia. I did that earlier today for myself. Yes, well, being a dog, Greg, I don't happen to have the solace of alcohol. Okay. I got something for you. It's a bark bar. A what? A bark bar. It's in the shape of a cat, see?
Sylvia, Kate. Where is she? The one I, I imagine she's trying to stay out of your hair. Craig. What? I know this is hard for you. Damn right. I just want you to know that I appreciate you. Thanks for me. We'll have a good time in England. It'll be a whole new thing for us. I can't talk about it now, Kate. It's just it's too depressing. You're kind of taking all of her stuff? Uh, there's a bag up there in the hall. Her brush? Her yeah. table dish? Yeah. What about her little red ball? I couldn't find that one. She liked that little red ball. Well, at least you noticed. It'd be a shame to send her off the cabinet. She'll survive. You know, my meeting's still going on. Oh, well, yeah? I just ducked out. I wanted to say goodbye. To saliva? <laughs> to Sylvia. Why? Magnanimous and victory, huh? Right. Well, have your farewell scene. Come here, Sylvia. Sylvia. I don't think, I don't think she wants to come, Kate. Come here, Sylvia. Come on. You called, Master? Kate wants to say goodbye to you. Oh, sure. And I'm Sarah Palin. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Truman, say goodbye. Yourself. I'll just call the garage. I'll be right with you. Okay. 